this is our sales order zva03 it is right not one so for our pricing procedure zva003 let me see you can see zpr4 and this is assigned to this account determination erl that is the reason this is account key based on this account key system will determine the gl account okay from vkoa so what is happening is our billing type let me try to show you the picture here so how the account determination works revenue account determination Okay, I'm going in the backward direction. So, when you create the invoice, invoice type or billing type, it is one and the same thing. Billing type F2 is assigned to account determination procedure. Which one? Whatever it is, account determination procedure. In our case, it is Y O F I zero zero. I think. Okay, so our billing type F two is assigned to account determination procedure Y O F I zero zero. Y O F I zero zero has access sequence Y O F I within Y O F I. has accesses or combinations you can say has five combinations which are those five combinations 501 502 503 504 505 and 505 so in vkoa we will be able to see all about combinations okay so from vko itself based on first is application it will always remain v in case of sales orders it will always remain v application v let me show you what are the other combinations so you can see application v condition type yofi hotels chart of account rech sales area whatever is your sales organization what are two two more important things customer account assignment and material account assignment and last one is account key based on this combination you will be able to determine the revenue gl okay so system will first give the priority to the first one so if you are maintaining the combination here if you are saying v y o f i your chart of account i think i created if you go to v application y o f i is my condition type chart of account is r e c h let's see if there is any combination you can see there is a combination okay so this is our combination v y o f i r e c h sales organization r e c h without any account assignment for customer without any account assignment for material erl system will automatically determine this gl account okay based on this system will be able to determine the gl account okay currently in our case system is not able to determine the gl account let's see what is the problem so where is our billing document i think i closed it so let me go to vf01 once again or sorry vf02 because billing document is already created we just want to generate the accounting impact so for that i'll go to vf02 this is my accounting document and i can click on release to accounting enter enter still i am getting the error So if I want to see what is the error, I can go to environment, 
account determination analysis and revenue account and let's try to see what is the problem so system is not able to determine yofi for rech rech and drl let me see v y o f i r e c h r e c h e r l system should be able to determine because we already created this 3000 let's try once again No GL account found in account determination type YOFI. Account determination type YOFI. Let me try here. So V YOFI chart of account RECH sales organization RECH. And the GL account that I want the system to use is let's say 3000. Okay, now after doing this, let me try to release to accounting once again. Okay, now you can see system is trying to post, but credit control area RECH not permitted for company code. Someone has made some changes in the credit control area. That is the reason system is not allowing me to go ahead with this transaction but at least now system is able to determine the gl if you try to see account determination analysis revenue accounts okay you can see gl 3000 is determined from the account determination type yo you can see it is determining based on the last step because we have maintained the combination in the last step only okay we have maintained the combination in which step we maintain the combination in the last step Clear now with account determination, how the account determination works. Any questions? Tushar, is it clear? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay okay so what should we do shall we continue or we should take a break because now i have a rebate processing left i want to take a rebate processing together with uh, uh, mm is it fine if i uh, just now i was actually planning to take it together mm as well as sd for sto process so just now itself i completed for mm if you are fine, I can share that video with you, today's video of STO also. Just go through it and if you have any questions you can ask or you want me to take it again with you. So maybe it will take another one hour if I continue. What do you think Avilash, Nagesh, is it okay if I just share the video of that MTO scenario? Yeah, yeah sure, sure. sure, sure. Yeah. Uh, okay. Can can you tell on the partner determination uh, if it is feasible now or? Yes, yes, yes. We can discuss the partner determination. We already discussed previously, but we will go in little bit detail. So, before going to partner determination, here this application we were using V right in uh, account determination right uh, is it the only one available or multiple like the, the they are also like application type okay. so v for sales uh, and distribution okay and uh, uh, okay understood okay so let me now talk about the partner determination 
partner determination means whenever you are creating the customer okay so for example i will show you uh, if i try to create a new customer okay and let's say maybe i'll use 0001 okay and here if i try flvn01 for flcu01 sorry for customer create okay whatever are the mandatory fields i'm just entering those okay if i go to sales and distribution tab sales organization distribution channel and division okay so what happens is you can see the partner function tab in this partner function system is automatically able to determine four partner types partner function types sold to party bill to party payer and ship to party now how this four are automatically getting determined there are more than that if i do a four we'll be able to see lot of partner determination functions or partner functions instead of determination so why only system is able to determine this four so this is based on the partner determination procedure similar to account determination procedure similar to uh, pricing procedure we have a partner determination procedure also so if you go to spro okay i think this one we discussed when we were trying to set up the customer master so in that one if you go to sales and distribution uh within again basic functions you would be able to see partner determination in this partner determination when you try to open it will give you the partner determination for different activities so currently we want to determine the partner for the customer master data so whenever you are going to create a customer master if you want the system to automatically determine the partner functions you will double click on this first activity now here there are different partner determination procedures okay here there are multiple different partner determination procedures let's go in the reverse direction let's try to understand in our case how system determined the partners so this is where you determine the partner determination if i double click on this you can see based on the customer account group you are able to determine the partner procedure so what is our customer account group the customer that we are trying to create if i go to general data here i should be able to see my customer account group my customer account group is a200 okay so based on this customer account group which partner determination system has determined if i see for a200 system is determining ag as a partner procedure partner determination procedure so let's go to the partner determination procedure ag this one now within this partner determination procedure i have different partner functions you can see these are the number of partner functions that you have within this partner determination procedure now out of this you can see some of them are mandatory and some of them are optional mandatory will be populated automatically at the time of creation of customer so you can see sold to party payer bill to party ship to party these are the four which are mandatory and that is the reason those are populating automatically if i want i can maintain the contact person if i want i can maintain the buyer if i want i can maintain the supplier so whatever are available under this particular partner determination procedure that many number of partner functions i can maintain in my customer master data okay so if i go to sales and distribution once again this is where i can enter any other partner functions which are part of this partner determination procedure so this is how system is automatically determining the partner functions okay so if you come down these are the different partner functions if you want to create your own partner function for example you want to assign the sales person to each and every customer so what you will do you will create your own partner function you will name it as sales person and that sales person you will assign in the partner determination procedure you can say it is mandatory and by default uh, system will show you the value of the customer but you need to change it accordingly 